to plant the spike. Full five on fire retake is what seems likely early. Boombot though to come out of the SMG side towards CT, immediately detecting presence. So they know that there's quite a few people coming in from that CT side. The stripwire hasn't been broken either. You can see them trying to play around with the Camillo to take first contact. Immediate trades coming out from RRQ side. Still a Shirazi on site, just being such a menace. Both these remaining players anchor towards oh, elbow here. Best remains. gets that first right click. Shirazi brings it down to a 1v1. And it's now just Shirazi versus Ayumi here. But in that close range, the frenzy. To find the kill, we'll let RRQ take the Any one taken. from that trailblazer, but at least there's info that a uh, little bit of the sides are clear. Navsky, though, holding down the fort for the rest of the team. That's gonna be Alexi finding her. That's the, also the flash settling in from uh, Luca, but there's no follow up coming in from RRQ. They really do want to play this uh, retake position and retake scenario for the rest of the team. Stake fight to the face Shirazi, receiving, receiving a lot of damage here. And as RRQ hops out, Remember, this is a buy round coming in from SMG. SMG side, but this might marry it anytime soon as they try to push in forward. Ayumi and the Painshells connect Alexi though to get on the trade. One for one once again here in the open though. It's gonna be Natsuki as that smoke goes down. Alexi able to find a second kill with the Sheriff, a possible upgraded rifle as well for one of her teammates. And SMG they push in a little bit more towards CT. The white swing oh. is there and best there for the trade immediately. It's still behind me though, tucked away into the corner. The damage to find one kill though. And now it comes down to a 1v1. Kamiyu against. It's gonna be Aluka and the headshot. It comes it through with the wires to play off of here. And SMG they look to take the first uh, contact here as they push inside already. Kamiyu spotting up the player in the corner. He uses the cage to find a kill along with Shirazi. And Shirazi to find two openers. Aluka finally gets a trade back here, falling back towards CT. But SMG they have the sight. Once they get control, once they get the intel on how many people and who are uh, the people who are watching that cross, they know how to take it away from RRQ side. They do that, have that showstopper like we mentioned a while ago, Zach. Still doable for a retake scenario here, a 4v3. Perhaps for Kamiyu, she might find one actually. That That's gonna be the drop to hell. And SMG completely um, dismantled. to spot out the position of this player. Smokes come down to do that now. It's just SMG trying to make their way onto site. One for one trade. Alexi finds the kill, but it's gonna be the immediate refract to come out. And there we go, still on site, willing to play spoil sport. Takes out Navsky. Now it's a 4v3 postman as the spike is on site. Spike is definitely on site. Kamiyu to catch planted. one as well. A good trade off and a quick trade off coming in from Iceberg from up above. 3v2 scenario. Kamiyu very low on the HP as well. They could still clear this out. Perhaps yeah, check on the right side. That's going to be Kohaibi shutting down one. Crossfire yeah, has been set. Perception towards Alexi and Ineri and uh, some of their explosive plays. And speaking of explosive, Ineri <laughs> is ready to catch up on that. Kohaibi to shut down one and Ayumi goes away for this map or for this round right now. 5v3 scenario. They pick up on Aloka as well. The two remaining players here for RRQ side. This is the buy round that they have. And it seems like they're losing control of the site itself. Even that retake scenario, they just couldn't find the kills. SMG! here to come alive, really, on this map. Because I'm trying to walk through the Viper utility. Already, Ayumi, to start things off here, satcheling into a Neri to find those kills. However, it's Shirazi for the trades here. A couple of kills for her before Navsky finally takes her out in SMG. They have the numbers advantage. The lurk from Iceberg kicking in as well. And it's just gonna come down to Hybe. A 1v3 for her. First, we'll be forcing them to move around and leave the remainder of SMG squad. They try to go in, but best towards elbow with a Spectre. She finds both kills here. The remaining remainder of SMG, they try to flood into the main here. Alexi able to find the first. Shirazi and Alexi with a couple more as well. And now it's just one more player on side. It might be what they need. But SMG now, they're looking to go on the aggressive here towards this B side. Paranoia comes out. Kaminyu able to find that first opener off the back of it. And Eri now looking to provide some additional backup here. Finds that first kill. Pulls the Showstopper out. But Aluka's there for the trade. Showstopper not going to find anything. Still the rest of by the neural death that has been used. Aluka still has the Seekers available might be popping that soon flash settling in no one to hide and that's gonna be Kamiyu going down seekers being taken away as well 2v1 scenario here Shirazi she wants to play for a pick off here but RQ just holding out on that crossfire angle that they're trying to punish last rate player double swing coming in from RQ well economy is really not in the favor here of RQ but what do we say? Around is around, right? Now with a showstopper, not connecting RRQ. 
this will stop them to their toes, especially here to ward. Before they go on to site, pushing towards CT and back. Now let's see, towards spawn, able to find the first, the second as well. Almost a 3k for her, but best, she finds the refrags. And now it's best versus the world, a 1v5 that she will have to ace clutch out to win it. Surrounded on every side here. And her anchoring skills really on this site as the push comes through. She does have some aid available, but despite the flash, it's going to be a unit to find that first kill. Immediate trade to come in from Alexi, though they, she gets surrounded on site and best goes her left. down. Numbers Spot back down to even a. footing as Shirazi finds a kill onto Bess and now it's just a 3v3. A Yumi go kill, that's what RQ is saying and telling her right now. 3v3, like you said, <laughs> they do want to take control of Elbow here. Might pop out on the judge! That's gonna be that oh, double no, kill and Aries looking a. for a 3v1 scenario now and Shirazi to finish everything off and everyone off. SMG securing the first game that we have right here. A little hug from the princess. down for the team and this is already smg setting up for that retake scenario they do have an aftershock available the flank settling in already this can be big for an airy that's gonna be their first kill and again you have an astro to help you out this would be smg firing in and going in on the site itself they're just trying to look for one more player anymore they know it and like you said they wrote it but this time flash settling in on the back side ayumi not successful in taking on a kill remember it's a buy round for them and so far they haven't gotten a pick for once and there you go to get another here they know exactly where napski is gonna be the smoke dissipates and that's gonna be napski all of these links here you can see ayumi pushing forward with the ult or the spectre and she finds that kill onto Kawaii, so that's the upgrade that they need in fact it's gonna be given to best here the flame coming in in full swing Camille finds iceberg but still a 4v4 flashes are gonna be huge here especially coming in from Camille, but that's gonna be Aluka catching her instead. Blade Storm out for them. And yeah, SMGs plays perfectly. 15 seconds now left on the clock, and SMG already looked to aggress here, but Ayumi there for the punish with the operator. Now looking to find some more with the Blade Storm in this 3v3. Still gotta be detected out here. She goes jumping, looking for the kills. It's gonna come down to how well her and Aluka can really go down this crossfire. Alexi though finds the opener. Standing. Immediate refrag there for Ayumi, and now it's just gonna be an area versus the world. Ayumi finds that first kill 2 HP left has to somehow find the second one but Alexi was able to buy in those last couple of seconds you can see SMG still trying to push through on site here Ayumi gotta be tagged out flashed into oblivion still finding the kills on site and holding strong finally though Kamiyu and Kohaibi they find a couple of kills of their own Alexi chiming in as well Cosmic Divide to come in now we'll make sure the spike consciously sprayed down and it's just a diffuse coming in all the way Shirazi just sticking it to the end never mind Iceberg able to at least do some damage with the molly but with that half the Molly coming in towards short. Now the flash towards long. They still go looking to do some damage. The double swing is there, but Ayumi this time around ready. She dodges the flash and finds both of these kills. Still gonna be a clear on site. Kamiyu versus the world finds the first and gets the spike. Still has to be too to work with. Will I be there for the trade? Just like that, RQ. They finally find a round on the bulls and dot their eyes, clear out the site completely, and then get that spike down. Operator though still in hands of Ayumi, holding down the corner, finds that opener onto Shirazi. Oh. Just like that, the numbers, they remain in favor of RQ here. Ayumi still looking for more value. Blade Storm in hand to find another kill. And just like that, it's again remaining. on the back foot, the lurk from Iceberg finds yet another victim. And now it's just down to Alexi. A 1v5. How much can Shut she down. really pull off here? Or she can really do? It seems like RQ, they're going to be able story, to... Zach. They're on defense this time, and it seems like a fast take for the time being. Attacking, and that's going to be SMG. And Neri on the corner to get a kill here. Last Left and right, team. SMG trying to pound on a side, and they battled it out. Iceberg to open this, this crossfire between Neri and Kamiyu. That first obstacle here, and RQ, they have the backup ready to go as well. Napski in the corner. The first point oh! of contact. They don't check her. She goes huge. Remaining. Three kills already. Spike Four, in down. fact, and now See. on track for the ace. She only has 5 HP left. Trying to go in. That's the alarm pot. It's the first. Welcome back, everyone, to VCT Game Changers APAC Elite. Now, as you know, we were in the middle of map number two before we had a little bit of a tech pause. Really sorry about the delay. We finally do have an update for you, though. Due to unfortunate circumstances, we are going to be heading directly into map number three, our RQ. Uh, it's a little bit of a heartbreaker for them, but it's not over quite yet. Hopefully, they're able to find the reset that they need before we jump into this next map of the series. So 
SMG, they're hungry to take up a little bit more space here. Three players running it down towards Elbow. The right click oh. in close range though. Iceberg to find two already. Looking for a little bit more. Still staying alive. And those two kills, they might decide how the rest of the round plays out here. Bobahari and Kamuyu though, able to find a couple of kills still on site. Fighting for their life. Shirazi with the third to boot. And suddenly it's just down to Bess and Ayumi. One what enemy more remaining. can they really find here? The smoke. Bobahari plays around going out towards heaven. Does a lot of damage, but not oh. able to confirm the kills. In fact, it's still Kamuyu to come out on top. And now that's another rifle that SMG are able to pick up. 3v5 situation, RRQ forced to be in that retake kind of scenario. All the though, at least able to find that first one. A second to come in from Iceberg, though. Alex immediately there to trade. Now it's just a 2v3 situation. Spike finally gonna go down here. Both remaining players for that RRQ side position towards the New Hall's area. On the first kill coming through already. And Kamuyu waiting for the smoke to go down as they finally look to get into sight. There's still gonna be three players around here. Look, why he makes quick work of that first one? Immediate retract to come through out of Aluka. The trades though, they're still there. Aluka on site still holding strong already. Two kills to her name. Just demolishing players with the Sheriff. And now there's additional presence from Hookah as well. Kamuyu with the overall strike. She has to be the one to break the deadlock here. Will use that ult to cut off Luka. Oh, she's so low. She's going to make her way onto side, but it's all across the Pass back in fact to find her instead. It's now Shirazi the one who won. Finds the first kill. No time to get the plant. And she has to run for this. You can see her on the no. chase here. Classic in hand. She finds it! Green shows to come in through towards New Hall and Eri, looking to take that space. And the beautiful flash will set her up to find that opener. In fact, a second one as well now. And it's in Eri's turn to pop the showstopper here all the way towards Bronx. So much control being taken right now. And she's still looking for the kills. Don't stop her right now tonight with Best. Still looking to make some kind of magic happen. SMG though, they've completely taken over here. Just a 2v4 situation. And Best, she's just caught between the players. And Eri takes her out as well. And now it's a 1v3 for Iceberg. Already two players holding the angle, waiting for her to confuse us by being able to scale up here. And now they manage to deal with that operator shot. However, Ayumi still goes in for the re-swing and she finds a second kill. 17 seconds left. SMG have, have to, to get that spike out. But there's just so much resistance available here. Just sprays through the smoke. these kills. Napsky with another one standing. to boot. Now it's just down to the One before. How much more did she really do here? Did she at least find a kill? Nope, it's just Ayumi only. This fight might decide how this oh. round plays out here, but Kohaibi, she's watching the right angle at the right time. A second kill to come through for an area as well. No more operator to be really to work out. Now it's just standing. whoever remains. Want to to be long. Fight. They take control over B, but trying to find and smoke off the pathways where they might be. Or RQ hops out of that smoke, trying to fight for their life, like we said. Clear on site has the orbital strike ready to go. This timing is going to be crucial here. It's going to force them out of the hookah, but Kohaibi just watched. With the Tour de Force, we'll find Aluka. The Orbital Strike will clean up Iceberg as well. And you can see that experience is really shining through here. That said, though, RRQ, they're finally getting some kind of inkling as to how SMG they like to play this map. Your early aggression, it's gonna be immediately punished here as it's gonna be Aluka to spray through the smoke and find that first kill. Still, four players from RRQ going on the side. They check their corner this time around, but still a one for one shot here. It's gonna be Kohaibi to take the sprays remaining. and now brings it down to a 1v2 situation. Shirazi. She's been on the lurk. Need to be, but thirty seconds left. He's out the enemy to try and beat even the ult of the brim side. They reposition themselves. They would rather go and wait on the site itself. And Erido was able to catch Iceberg and Kohaibi. Something's down. happening around the one map. It seems like that. RRQ one That's by one. Good. They all falter here. Now it's all down to Ayumi. She has the spike. He isolates these duels. All three of them, they're going to be coming in through this already. Ready for the jump here. The swing from Ayumi, not quite timed perfectly. One as well. And Ayumi with the operator looking to take some kind of damage. The shot goes wide. It's just a Mary to find that first kill. Finally gets taken down by Iceberg here, but Shirazi still with the Sheriff in that close range, doing the damage and uh, damage here. Aluka looking to sneak up and find the damage, but instead it's going to be Shirazi on top. Another kill for her. Two players remain now for this RRQ squad, and they still look to they go. Don't know. Shirazi clutches. They don't crack a corner. Shirazi with three before she finally gets shut down, and now it's just best versus the world. A one info at least for best where the players might be, but they know. Anyway, let's take a look at this round. Hold that thought first. Alexi will try to fight for it. And that's gonna be that two to one trade. Instead, in a 4v3 positioning, RQ already on B side, but Hookah not completely cleared. Yeah, they probably still know that Alexi is hanging around here. You can see how cautious they're being. Really just letting one player watch that exact angle. Alexi though, in that elevated position,
Ocean might be able to do a little bit more damage, especially with Inari with the backup. Now Showstopper to boot, tossing in the back, remaining. not able to find anything though. Again, Alexi is there for the trade. Like you mentioned, Spike firmly in control of Alexi here. She's not messing around, and Aluka in now again is just a his aggressive hold towards the short angle. It's still gonna be Kamiyu to find that kill despite being concussed. At least best she's able to find a trade here, but still SMG they keep their numbers up. 4v3 situation. There's so much work that RQ have to do, and they have not no map oh, control off. either to work with. You do have Alexi holding by herself in hookah. RQ they have B long, but the spike itself it has to make its way here, and it does look like they have their sights set on B. They're playing for contact, and the rest of the RQ squad just waiting for the rotation to come in, especially with Bess having the spike. They need to clear out the angles though, especially Hookah is controlled by Alexi here. But they don't know that and I think Alexi already heard some of the footsteps coming in from RRQ's side. Left. She knows she's giving info, she's giving the intel and all the hyper rotation from the rest of the team. This would be the sandwich play that could take them the win. Found one. so much on the line, Seekers to come out, at least they're gonna be able to smoke out Alexi's position off the back. Of it, but there's just a double-sided pressure coming through. Operator available as well for Kohaibi. Ayumi and her feet off towards elbow, but it's still gonna be SMG trying to make it way onto side. Once again, a one-for-one -one trade. Aluka takes out Alexi towards showers, bringing it down to a 2v2. SMG, they're on site, but they will have to figure out where these players are positioned. And it's gonna be Ayumi and Aluka. We talked about the pressure side. Obito strike to come out to deny the plants. And Napski already looking to flank around here. And Neri still finds the kill though. That's huge. Oh, through showers, it's coming you for the spray down. She gets two more Spurs. as well and now again it's just down to Ayumi and Iceberg. Ayumi finds the first immediate refrag. It's all down to Iceberg. She finds the first but it's still Shirazi to come out on top. SMG they are your game changer champion for APAC. They're going to Sao Paulo and they keep up their record 33 and 0 for the year in APAC. The queens of APAC for real. Look at them celebrate man. They deserve it. Over.